Quite a few types of components are regularly used in electronic circuits and systems, but we can place them in three broad categories. Passive components cannot amplify a signal and they do not produce mechanical motion. Active components can amplify a signal. Electromechanical components convert electrical energy into mechanical motion, convert mechanical motion into electrical energy, or facilitate electrical interconnection. Passive components work with electrical energy that's already present. The most common passive electronic components are resistors, capacitors, and inductors. Resistors convert electrical energy into heat. Capacitors store electrical energy in an electric field, and inductors store electrical energy in a magnetic field. They can influence electrical signals by converting energy from one form to another, but they cannot increase the power of a signal by injecting energy supplied by a source, such as a battery. Other passives include ferrite beads, which are used for noise suppression, antennas, which efficiently generate or receive electromagnetic radiation, and transformers, which use closely spaced inductors to change the amplitude of an AC voltage. Sensors generate or modify electrical signals in response to physical conditions. Passive sensors use specialized applications of resistance and include thermistors, photoresistors, and strain gauges. An active component can contribute to the power of an electrical signal by injecting energy supplied by a source component. The most emblematic active components are called transistors. A bipolar junction transistor, or BJT, functions like a current-controlled current source, and a metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor, or MOSFET, functions like a voltage-controlled current source. Both types of transistors can be used as a switch or as an amplifier. Diodes are common components that allow current to flow only in one direction. They resemble passive components in that they have only two terminals and cannot amplify a signal, but their reliance on semiconductor junctions and electrical characteristics are very different from those of resistors, capacitors, and inductors. If we say that an active component must allow an applied electrical signal to control the current flowing through another portion of the component, then we would classify diodes as passive. The most familiar electromechanical component is the electric motor and almost all motors convert electrical energy into mechanical energy in the form of rotational motion. A generator reverses this relationship, converting mechanical motion into electric power. Solenoids and speakers are electromechanical components that convert electrical energy into linear motion. Piezoelectric devices, such as quartz crystals and ceramic resonators, experience mechanical changes in response to an applied electric field. Quartz crystals are widely used for producing high-precision timing signals. Mechanical switches are still an effective way to control a circuit, and connectors transfer power and signals from one system to another. For more details, check out the link in the description or visit allaboutcircuits.com.